What's good, working fam? It's your boy Cameron, and today I'm gonna tell y'all a story of a little addiction problem that I had in the past that I'm gonna admit it. It was stupid, and I lost a lot of money. I mean, I'm talking fifteen thousand dollars money. That's a lot of freaking money. I don't know what what type of life y'all living, but hey. $15,000 is a lot of freaking money to your boy. It's a lot of freaking money. Imagine the things that you could do with $15,000. But losing it to gambling? Let's talk for a second right quick. So, your boy had never been to Vegas. Heard a lot about it, never been to Vegas. I'm 21 years old, just started working, just graduated, moved out to California. Whoop, whoop, you know, I'm living, I'm living my best life. And my workplace had an event out in Vegas and they told me they wanted me to go represent the company, hold a booth open for them, tell everybody about the company, find new customers. Of course, I went to Vegas, I did all that. I had a couple of co-workers went, that went with me. They're a little bit older, they, they like to gamble or whatnot. They invited me over to a roulette table. And I'm like, hey, I'm not even interested in this type of stuff because your boy ain't interested in losing any cash. They suckered me in. They, they suckered me in. They said, hey, Cam, $20. Just, just pull out $20. I know you got $20 on you. Hey, if you lose it, it's not gonna hurt. If you have a little fun with it and win, hey, even better. I'm like, all right, dog. I'm good with that. $20, it's, it's only $20. I, I, I can work with that, $20. I don't even know how I play. I know it's a roulette table. Got the wheel spinning, got the little ball. Ding, 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 ding. Game of chance, game of luck. Whatever. Chances are I'm about to lose 20 bucks, get burned. But hey, I'll do it if you know they want me to do it. Whatever. Put 20 down. Ding 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 ding. And it was like 26 black. I'm like, what does that mean? They like that means you won. You won $20. I'm like, wait wait wait. I just won $20 that quick. That quick? Oh shoot. I'm like, hey, I'm in now. So I put $20 down again. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Boom, it hits again. <laughs> I'm like ecstatic at this point. I'm like, your boy just made $40 in about 40 seconds. Hey, where they do that at? Hey, I'm just like, hey, your boy about to, about to hit big. I, I already can feel it. Your boy about to hit big. Do, 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 do. Cash, cash, cash. I'm up over a thousand freaking dollars. Thousand dollars off putting twenty dollars in. What could go wrong from here? I tell you what, I had a fun time that time. I got over a thousand dollars. I think it was like fifteen. Oh no, it was like thirteen hundred dollars. So uh, your boy was feeling nice. Your boy was feeling good. Went back to work. Your boy feeling good. They telling stories about your boy and you know them bossed up. You know it's only a thousand dollars, but hey, a thousand dollars for free? For free? I take it. <laughs> I'm just anxious for the next time to get back. My homegirl Shanae, she was moving from California to Vegas to live with her father. So I'm just like, I take her up on opportunity. I'm like, I'll drive you. I, I, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> you know your boy hype. This is a couple months after. I, your boy is hype. So I pick her up, she throws her luggage in and everything. I speed to Vegas. I'm like, hey, your boy trying to get there, right? I'm over here like, man, I got I got 500 in my pocket. Like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to shine, y'all. So look, I get out there and do exactly what I said. I start shining. I mean like 500, like 500 on black. Hey, you hit. I'm like, dang. Your boy didn't came up like. $3,000, I ain't even going front with you. Your boy came up $3,000 real quick. Chick, she goes out and like parties and all that stuff. I'm still at the table. She gets out of a little party. I start walking around because she's like, I want to walk around a little bit. So I'm just like, all right, cool. So I'm walking around. I said, every roulette table, I'm going to bet $100 down. 
Every roulette table I saw, a hundred black hit, 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 hey, hey, hey. So like, you know, I just go off like that. Your boy feeling real nice, a little bit too nice. We go back and leave the casino where her dad stay. You know, I, I, I went to sleep because I need to drive back the next day. So I wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. She tells me, hey, Kale, how much money did you win? I'm like, over three stacks, yo. And she's like, okay, okay, you know, you did pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go back and win some more. She like, you said what? Nah, 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 nah. You don't want to do that. When you leave Vegas, you take your money with you. You leave the casino, you've made it out. She's like, I I'm from here. I'm from here, I know. You leave the casino, you take your money back. You can always come back another trip, but do not go back on the same trip. I'm like, she tripping. I done made $3,000, she ain't gonna stop my shine. She ain't about to stop my shine. So she's like, I'm gonna call you when you get home. It's like a three and a half hour trip. It's like eight o'clock in the morning, right? So uh, I'm like, I'm just gonna stop there. I'm gonna be there for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on back, right? Back to the crib, back home. And she's like, cool, I I'll call you. But make sure, make sure you made it home safe. Next thing I know, I'm at the casino. I go up another stack in that half an hour. And I'm like, yeah, it's time for me to leave. It, it, it's supposed to be time for me to leave, but hey, can you believe your boy that made four stacks of throwing money on a table and and watching a ball go around? That's easy money. I you can't you can't do go wrong. You can't go wrong. Next thing I know, I'm winning, winning, winning. Then I start losing. Mm. When those tables turn, I'm telling you, you feel like 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 the hero and then you feel like zero real real quick you go from zero to 100 back to zero real quick i'm i'm not even fronting with you like and they can tell how intense you are because they offer you free drinks in vegas they're like hey you want a drink and you know your boy was just like no 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 i'm good i'm good i don't, I don't, I don't want a drink you know why your boy don't want to drink? Cause your boy getting frustrated, right? Your boy getting frustrated. Now I'm back down to 3,000 and next thing I know, you know, I done lost freaking $3,000 of their money. I'm like, hey, your boy gonna get that back. Your boy gonna get it back. Meanwhile, there's no clock, so I don't know what time it is. My a friend Shanae is over here calling me and calling me and calling me. You can't pick up the phone at the table because the phones aren't allowed at the table because they don't want to see you. They don't want you to see that clock. They don't want anybody to stop you from gambling your life away. That's hey, straight up. They don't want anybody to stop you from gambling your life away. It's all by design. So I run out of they money that I had won. So I, I walk over to the ATM. I'm like, cool. Back. I'm about to just I'm about to just pull some more money out, about to run over here, run it up real quick, and then I'm gonna get out of here. And I, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here like I'm talking to myself because I'm by myself. I'm just like, hey, your boy gonna do it, right? Your boy walked back over to the uh table and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all y'all think y'all can do this to me? To me? Alright, that's cool. Hey, 500 on black. I hit that boy. You already know your boy hit it, right? Next thing I know, I'm putting 500 on a roll, and I don't know if y'all know anything about it, but on the rolls, if you get 500 on a roll, you get double your money. So I get $1,000, so I'm up $1,500 again. I'm like, hey, hey, <laughs> your boy doing it. Let me go ahead and run this all the way up. I put $1,000 down. On black, the bad boy hit red. Oh. <laughs> it hit red. At this point, I'm just looking around like, what's going on? What is going on? So I'm like, I'm about to get it back. Hey, there's no way it's going to hit red twice. It's not going to hit red twice. I throw 500 chip on black. Red again. I, I'm feeling salty at this point. I'm salty. I'm over here thinking, I done lost $3,000 of their money. I've lost... $300 of my money, ran it up again, went back down. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm gonna run back over to the ATM, pull out some more cash, get my money back, and then I'm gonna head out. 
So I go over to ATM. Do, 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 do. The ATM says, hey, you have a daily limit withdrawal that's already been reached. You can go over to the table though, and you can pick out some, you can, you can withdraw some more money from the table by writing a check. I'm like, bet, whatever. So I'm writing this check and you read the terms and it says, we also take charge $12 when you do this, I'm like, bet, I mean, it's $12. Like, I'm probably gonna win 4,000, so it's $12. So next thing I know, I take like another $500 out, $300 out, and I go back over to the table. Bet up that 300, go up 1,500, come back down, lose my money, go back over to that place, write another check, it said $12. You sure you wanna do this again? I'm like, man, it's $12, your boy, your boy been balling. Your boy been balling. Don't tell me what to do with my own money. At this point, I'm getting real frustrated. People talking to me about my money. Like, don't be talking to me about my freaking money. It's my money. Write that check. Give me my money. Walk back over to the table. Run it up again. 1500 2000 you know what I'm saying? Your boy, hey, I'm coming back, hey, I'm coming back, hey, hey. And then next thing I know, I'm back down. I don't even know when it happened. It happened so quick, I don't even know when it happened. So next thing I know, I'm right back over at the table, writing the check, I'm writing a bigger check. They say it's $12, well I was like, I'm not gonna pay $12 again, so I'm gonna write a bigger check, right? And I'm gonna get this money, I'm gonna get my money back. As soon as I get my money back, back to even, not Vegas's money, but my money, I'm walking out of this joint. So I go over there, run it up, get my money back, and I'm like, it's time to go. Or is it? Nah, nah. I ran this up real quick. I ran this up in like 10 minutes. Got all my money back. I'm gonna get the money back that I came in this morning with. I'm gonna get all $3,000 back. So I run that up a little bit and then come crashing back down, yeah? Um, I'll write another check. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting embarrassed now. Now I'm going to different clerks because I don't want to go back to the same clerks so they can look at me like, hey, boy, you an idiot. But at that point, I honestly needed somebody to say that to me. My phone's still blowing up. I finally pick it up. Shanae, she's like, hey, you make it home? I'm like, no. <laughs> she's like, well, where are you at? I'm like, I'm up the street from you. She said, damn. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm, and she's like, well, you don't sound like you winning. I'm like, how you know what it sound like? How you know? You know, your voice a little bit different when you lose and versus when you winning. You was turning up last night acting like you was a man. Now you acting like you nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she one of them friends who's gonna tell you how it is. She's like, you probably lost everything. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I lost everything, but I'm about to make it back. I'm about to make it back. She like, Cam, you have been at the casino for 10 hours straight. Like, she's like, hey, it's six o'clock in, in the evening now. You were supposed to be home at 11, 30, 12 o'clock. I'm like, you don't control me, you ain't my boss. You know what I'm saying, I'm my own man. Like, get out my way, click, right? Forget you, you know what I'm saying? I pull out some more money, go over to the table, throw it down, make a little bit of money, boom, boom, your boy, your boy not partying yet, but I'm feeling a little bit good, you know what I'm saying? Get a little bit of my money back, and uh, next thing I know, I come crashing down again. Aww. I'm like, all right, I've been here way too long. I'm just gonna write one more check. They like it's twelve dollars. I'm like, yeah, I know it's twelve dollars. I know it's twelve dollars. Damn. Just give me my money. Take my money. I'm like, hey, I just want some of my money back because right now I'm down three thousand dollars of my own money. Six thousand dollars on the day. Three thousand dollars of my own money that day. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I'm just like, I just want a thousand dollars back. I'm I'm cool walking away two thousand dollars down. Next thing I know, I run it up. Three hundred dollars down on black, hit. Five hundred dollars uh, down on a rope, hit. I'm like, I'm running up. I'm like, man, well, I'm just trying to get back to even because I'm running it up. I'm having a good run right now. I'm gonna get back to three thousand dollars. So next thing I know, I'm, I'm doing my thing, right? And boom, I come crashing down. I think that's when things start sinking in. And things sinked in even more when I, I, I pulled out my phone and I was like, let me check my bank account, right? I checked that bad boy. That bad boy was looking low. I mean, low, low. I mean like, am I gonna be able to get home low? 
am I gonna be able to pay my rent low? Like, your boy done messed up. At that point, I was just like, I messed up. Like, if I went over there and cried at the stand, would they give my money back? Or, it was like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm over here, he, I'm hot. I'm hot, I'm depressed. Your boy didn't sunk. I feel like I'm a thousand pounds. I start walking toward the car, and I'm walking toward the car just thinking about how much of an idiot your boy is. And I'm just like, dang. Like, who comes to Vegas, goes up 3,000, and loses it all, right? Who does that? Who does that? Who loses $6,000 they have in their hand in one day? Who does that? Who does that? Like, you gotta be an idiot to do this. So I jump in the whip, turn it on, and I don't even turn on the radio. I'm riding home, mm, like, three and a half hours in silence. In dead silence. I'm not trying to hear nothing, right? You know, Janae calls me, I'm just like, I'm, I'm headed home now, I, I lost everything. She's like, what do you mean everything? Like the three thousand, she's like, "Well, it wasn't your money to begin with? You lost three thousand. I'm like, "Yeah, I lost eight three thousand, and I lost mine." She like, she's silent because she like, not nah, as not nah, as dude didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't do that. I, I feel sorry for this dude. He didn't do that. You play. You playing. You gotta be playing, Cam. I'm like. I'm not playing. I'm gonna call you back, please. So, and next thing I know, I'm, I'm riding home. I start getting phone calls from my mother. My mother's hitting me up, and you know, I'm just like, nah, I don't feel like talking to nobody right now. Like, your boy depressed. I'm, I'm driving home. I don't want to hear nothing. Your boy just all in his emotions, thinking on the way home. Like, I'm stupid. Like thinking all the negative things and but like your boy was telling the truth to himself because who does that? Who goes to Vegas, makes that much money and loses that much money? Who does that? I get home, I finally hit my mom up because she usually goes to sleep at like, I wanna say nine, ten o'clock at night, and it's like twelve o'clock in the morning and their time in Indiana, and she hits me up and I was like, I pick up the phone, she's like, You alright? I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't I be all right? She like, uh, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. What? What? Y'all y'all got a camera on me? Like, y'all watching me or something? Like, I, I, what you mean, am I all right? She like, Cameron, I seen your bank account. What? I'm, I'm like shaking at this point, right? Even though it's my money, and I do everything myself. She had access to my account because, you know, your boy just immature and your mom being a mom, I'm 21, I just moved out to California. She was just checking and she was like, yeah, I, I see you lost a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, I did. I lost, I lost I, I almost everything. She's like, yeah, I know. She said, I saw like, Every time you pulled out more money and more money and more money and more money. And uh, she was gonna like put a freeze on my account. But from my dad's advice, my dad was like, hey, he's a man. Let him let him chill. Let let him learn. Let him let him do what he does with his own money. Let him do it. Let him figure it out. I'm like, for one time in my life. I wish you would have just put the freeze on that account and let me be mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Because as much as that would have made me feel like a youngin that doesn't have control of his own money, I'd be a few thousand dollars richer right now. Right? She puts my pops on the phone. I'm just like, dang. I'm, I'm already embarrassed enough. Now you're gonna put my pops on the phone too. So he gets on the phone and he's like, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. He said, uh, well, at least you only lost $3,000. I'm like, what? 
He's like, well, you lost three thousand dollars because that's all you had, right? It's better it happened at this point in your life than later on in life, and you lost twenty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars. I'm like, man, this dude gotta be tripping. Like, this dude's tripping. This dude, this dude trying to piss your boy off, and I'm just like. I'm like, yeah, 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 I, I feel you, I feel you. I'm trying to be respectful, I'm like, I feel you. Uh, I got off the phone with him, yeah, right away. Like, deep, I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm, I'm leaving, <laughs> right? I, I gotta go to bed. Um, he was telling the truth. He, he was definitely telling the truth, but uh, I started thinking about everything that I could have did with the $3,000. I could have bought furniture for my crib. Your boy was a bachelor, I didn't have no real furniture. I had a sofa inside the crib, didn't have a like a, a real like bed set up. I had a mattress, I didn't have a bed. You know what I'm saying? I always thought those two things were the same. But anyway, I, I would have bought that stuff or could have bought that stuff. I probably wouldn't have, even if I had the money. But now that I lost all my money, I would have definitely bought some furniture for my crib. You start thinking about everything you could have did with the 3,000 freaking dollars, made sure that uh, you know I was gonna be able to pay my rent. I looked and seen, oh, I'm getting another check. I'll be all right for my rent. I was tough. It was a, it was definitely a tough, tough moment for me in my life. And hopefully somebody can hear this and learn from it, learn from somebody else's mistakes. That's what I've always heard. You should learn from other people's mistakes so you don't make them. You know, I always been told that from my grandpops and from my parents. And obviously that lesson wasn't, wasn't one that I learned. Um, I always heard gambling could be a trip and it was definitely a trip and I can tell you this I didn't even learn from that instance I went on to lose fifteen thousand dollars over the next what three years yeah yeah man it was a tough experience uh, I know there's a lot of people who have gambling problems or any other addictions out there and I just wanted to tell you guys you guys can beat it uh, I told this story because partly I think it's funny looking back at my past uh, another reason is because I thought somebody else may be going through the same thing or thinking about doing the same stuff and they can hear this story and not have to go through it I want you to keep the monies in your pockets you feel with me if y'all like this story make sure y'all leave a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already joined the Working Fam. This channel's got a lot going on. We got a lot going on on this channel, right? And part of the series that I want to present is a series where I can tell you guys about my mistakes. Y'all can laugh at them if y'all want to. It's cool, because I laugh at them too now. You feel me? Your boy lost 15 Gs gambling. 3,001 sitting after acting like a boss. A boss. I mean, some of them times I went to Vegas, I literally would be like, hey, if I hit, I'm buying everybody dinner. And Vegas, Vegas dinners aren't cheap. I, I, your boy used to be hitting like that when I'm there, right? And when I'm up, hey, everything's all good. I'm paying for 15 people to eat dinner. It, it, it's nothing to me, right? And I'd be losing by the next morning. By the next morning, I'm like, hey, this Uber though? Yeah, we're going to have to split this Uber five ways cam it's only 12 out hey we splitting it five ways i need everybody to vim on me but hey that, that that's a story for another day <laughs> if y'all like this click the thumbs up button and i'll be back with more eden may be back with a story join the fam y'all we like to have y'all until next time we out oh i guess i'm out i'm out y'all that.